What should I wear? We can stand in front of our wardrobes for ages trying to decide an outfit and we're not even going anywhere in particular. We do this elaborate ritual of grooming ourselves from the shoes to the clothes to the hair to the accessories. In fact, the cosmetic world is a multi-billion dollar industry and there's creams for just about everything. There's a cream to make yourself look tanned and darker and then there's another cream to make yourself look fair and whiter. And this endless process is because not only are we grooming ourselves to attract our perfect mate, but also because we feel this need to be accepted by our peers, to be respected by our colleagues. And we feel that if we look a certain way, then we'll become worthy of their love or their respect or their liking us. And it doesn't stop at how we look. We go on it to make ourselves love worthy so that people like us and accept us, that we choose a particular career, we like certain type of music, we go to a specific restaurant, we tend to follow a certain fashion trend or upload certain pictures on Instagram, follow certain people's blogs. It's endless, this grooming of making ourselves love worthy. Swami Chinmayananda used to say that this process when that we um, invest in makes each of us wait for somebody to love us. We groom ourselves, there's immense effort being put in, but it's still waiting to attract love into our lives. And if each one of us is waiting for love, who's going to give it? And so he used to roar that to give love is true freedom. To demand love is slavery. When we're waiting for love and we're wanting other people to love us, then just like a slave, we feel so helpless. There's nothing we can do. But when we empower ourselves and we go out and give it, we become free. And so why sit around waiting when actually we can take control and we can go and give love? To give love is freedom. To demand love is pure slavery.